Hello and welcome back. Uh, in this video, I present some of the features of a pharmacy management system I've dubbed ChemCare. First of all, I'm going to take you through uh, most of the features and then I'm going to take you through each and every one showcasing how it works. Alright, so at this juncture, I'm starting to add the dosage, uh, which is one of the first things that you should add before you add the product, of course, now for sale. So I'll be adding the dosages, and then later on, I'm going to add the medicine type, and I'm also now going to add the products, and I'm also going to show you how you can be able to um, work with the point of sales and how it usually produces with the receipts and all that but for now let's see how to add the dosages you can be able to add the dosages using an excel uh, csv but in this case i'll be showcasing uh, how to add a single one one at a time So this post, uh, specific juncture, I'm just trying to edit uh, some of uh, the uh, dosages. Uh, you can also be able to delete them if you want. And of course, I'm also including an extra one here, which was missing. All right, so at this point, uh, specific point, I'm now adding the medicine type. This includes like the captures, um, the um, antibiotics, uh, analgesics, and all that.
So the medicine types are added successfully. So now it's the time to add the uh, products. Uh, sorry, in this case, I went to purchases instead of uh, products. All right, so back to products, and this is how you can be able to add the products. So remember, you can also be able to import a CSV file, but at this uh, specific point, I'll be adding one product. All right, so I've realized that I forgot to uh, add the tablet uh, medicine type. So I'm just including it here. Uh, but unfortunately, when I went to add the specific product, I realized that uh, the category uh, is only showing uh, a limited number of categories or medicine types. Uh, so I just had to go with uh, what was available, but this is something that I'll be fixing to ensure that all the categories are displayed here. Medicine types. All right, so picking the medicine size the supplier, the blanche, you can also be able to lock uh, this product at this point or uh, tax exempted. Otherwise, if you don't check uh, the tax exempt, uh, the tax will be added to that specific product. All right, so at this specific point, I realized that this user doesn't have the security to add uh, the availability of uh, drugs or products. So I had to add that specific security and you can be able to see it over there. And then now I can be able to mark uh, the, the products that I want as available for this specific branch. So in this case, we only have two branches, the Nyeli branch and the Nakuru branch, uh, the Nyeli being the main branch. And as you can see, I've added that to the Nyeli branch, but I also realized that uh, this specific uh, navigation uh, is origination rather is limiting uh, the drugs to only five, whereas I've marked nine as available. So I was just trying to figure out what is uh, happening here. Um, but this is something that we'll be fixing later to ensure that every drug that is marked as uh, available is visible on the drugs as true product uh, page. I also tried to check the uh, database. I realized that uh, yes, we have nine which appears in the very first page here, uh, which are marked as available. 
but still not appearing in the products of medicine uh, page. Also realize that the um, availability page uh, also has an improved position where I could not be able to move from uh, one page to another. As you can see, I'm trying to do that over there, but th that is something that uh, can be able to fix to ensure that the final product is working smoothly. I tried to search for the specific uh, drug over here, but uh, I realized that I can be able to find it only that it's being limited by the imagination feature. All right, so that's something that we'll be fixing later. Uh, but now you can be able to see at least we have some products that we can work with. All right, so also, um, Another bug is that uh, when you search for a specific product, uh, the um, column expiry date is missing in the search results. Uh, but that again, something that can easily be included uh, so that all the columns are appearing even when you search. I missed to record uh, the part where I was adding the requisitions. So I had to retake that. So you're going to realize that uh, some of the products are going to have stocks. Uh, whereas they should have when you they should not have when you're initially doing it um, so basically i'm just going to add the requisition this is where you request for the specific uh, products or medicines that uh, you need stocked and then uh, um, someone with that privilege is going to uh, approve the product and that is what you see on the screen so as you can see over there the products are approved and then when I go to that I should be able to see uh, that are being uh, increased or the stock being increased. So at this point I'm in the uh, point of sale um, and I'm going to add uh, this specific uh, product here. You can go to the quantity at this specific point I'm just going to move with one when you click on it should be on the right side. I uh, choose uh, the customer and add the payment uh, details. In this case uh, I'm assuming that the customer is paying using ways that will charge uh, money mobile uh, to include that and to uh, include code. And uh, you can also have a calculator over there. We can see and then just click on the send and that should uh, uh, complete the point of sale or checking over there and uh, you can also be able to print and this is the beautiful seat all right now checking back on the stock you can see that one has been deducted from the stock you can also go to the customer ranger or ranger and you can be able to see what has happened to that specific customer uh, what they have paid and what they were supposed to pay you can also export this uh, and then uh, File uh, just for purposes. All right, so, so checking on the uh, finances, you can be able to track what has happened. Like, for example, we made a sale of 245. Uh, and uh, you can also be able to see we have the debit, we have the credit, we have the total amount invested, the total amount remaining, 